Gary Freeman. I win. Get ready, because we're flipping Cheyenne. Hi, this is Gary Freeman and Lynn, and we are here at the finished product, or finished house, I should say, on East 6th Avenue. Lynn, this thing came out absolutely beautiful. Well, from where it started, Gary, it is gorgeous. Okay, so Lynn, in a house like this, what would you say some of the challenges are when you're putting together a home like this? Our priority is to make it safe, so the electrical, the plumbing, the structure. So in this house in particular, this is the structure holding up an addition. Um, that looks to be like an old table leg, and I'm not sure that's safe. So I would say it might be yeah. the code, like <laughs> circa 1934 maybe. So our first priority is to use something other than table legs. There's actually two of them holding up the roof here, so we'll remove those and actually do that correctly. It would be nice not to have it fall on your head while we're in here, Gary. Yeah, table legs are supposed to be under the table, not holding up a floor. That's true. I gotcha. I gotcha. This is now a dining room, and you're right, this is the structure that had a half a wall supported by table legs, one of which we saved for you, just, you know, for some memorabilia. Um, so we created all this extra living space, which it was use useless before. All right, and here we are in the basement, uh, the master suite. This is the master suite bathroom. This place was a wreck. This looks phenomenal. This was such a tiny little bathroom, you could really not even get in here and do anything you want to do in a bathroom. So it, it did make a great difference, adding this great master closet, a couple of vanities, and really open the space up for the master suite. Yeah, and a see-through shower, and uh, you know, just uh, this has really opened up nice. And this just goes to show you what can be done with these old houses and a little imagination, probably a whole lot of money and a little bit of paint, and voila, <laughs> you can have a bathroom just like this. Yeah, it takes a couple of dollars, but <laughs> it, there's some magic that happened down and, here. And here's a tip: there's nothing that we can't do to a house as long as there's an increase in revenue, right? We can do it all. That is is correct. Here we are, <laughs> just outside of the master bedroom and bathroom, and this was kind of a treat, Lynn, because this is where we felt the the, the, the pre-owners or some of them were holding like the old wine uh, cellar down in here. There is a little wine cellar in, in this very rustic log room um, back in the corner with a little chair and a lock from the inside. So I'm guessing he sat in there with his many bottles of wine and just had his own little happy hour. That's right, little happy hour right here in the basement. But as you could tell, concrete, he chipped a hole like, you know, escape from Alcatraz kind of thing. And he actually was able to make a room back in here, which was very unique. But you were able to put a very nice door on this. And now that's pretty much another utility closet. Yeah, yeah great space in there. And then this room that we're standing in, which is really a little sitting room outside of the master suite. Um, you know, the basement before was nearly unusable. Structurally, it wasn't in very good shape. And come to find out, it was all wired, almost uh, predominantly with speaker wire, which isn't sa very safe. So. so we're here in the kitchen, a beautiful remodeled kitchen. But what would you say are some of your favorite parts of the house? I think a couple. I think just um, a little thing, opening up this doorway, it was very small before opening it up and having sight line from the front of the house to the back of the house made an amazing difference in the openness of the space. What we were able to do to salvage that back room and make it livable space, that's, that's a great part. Um, and the kitchen. I really, I really like the kitchen, um, just the open feel of it, a couple of eating areas and you know, one, one great thing I think for people to remember if they're going to remodel their house and with the intent of selling it is they need to try and put their personal likes and dislikes out of the picture and appeal to the most general. And that's what we try and do in every house. And we kind of base that, our success on that and how, on how fast it sold. And this house sold in less than a day. Wow. So that tells us that we're on the right track of appealing to the broadest number of people possible. Well, wonderful job here, Lynn. Another job well done. And uh, that's going to wrap up this house. So I guess we'll see everybody on the next one.